Cool, cool, cool. Okay, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Ogonike. I'm also known as Super Dave. And every Sunday, I do a live team Q&A educational, inspirational uh, webinar, which is this particular webinar. And um, the goal of this webinar is to be here for people that are in the team. See, a lot of times what happens is people are sponsored by other people who sponsor other people and they don't really know what to do. Maybe the, their sponsor is brand new or their sponsor sponsor is brand new and they don't know where the tools are. They're, they're looking for some help somewhere. And what I've experienced in this industry is a lot of times those people, they quit, they go look for something else. Well, I wanted to make sure that once a week there was at least a, a venue that people can come. Doesn't matter if they're brand spanking new or they're seasoned individuals. And this here is an open conversation where if you have any um, challenges, any questions, you try and figure out what to do or how to do what you need to do about building this business or anything in between that, this space here, this webinar is for you. Okay, so um, basically what happens is I'll, I will be sharing stuff with you that I've learned during the week or things that I've experienced as well, good and bad, because I want you guys to realize that, hey, I'm normal just like you, but at the same time, if you have a question totally unrelated to what I'm talking about, please just type it in the box so that I can answer your question. And then, during the week, as you're building a business and doing different things in your business, if you come across something and you, you, you're just wondering, you know, well, what would do, well, what would Dave do in this case, or you know, how how would I do X Y Z, whatever it is, you know, save it for this webinar, bring it on here, and let us answer it because it's going to help you, and it will also help other people that are on this webinar because we have a lot more people uh, who are here. Some people have just signed up. Some people have been here for some time. Other people just want to see, you know, is, is, is this business still going on? I mean, who knows? All right, so. Um, that's what this webinar is for. So you always hear me say, if you have any questions, type it in. Don't be shy. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So first off, what I wanted to do uh, this week is um, congratulate the uh, individuals who hit a new level for the month of August. Uh, again, Trivita sends this out once a month and they normally send it out about two or three weeks into the following month. Um, I think this, this month is sent out a bit early, but my challenge now and what I'm about to do is that I don't know everybody in my team who has hit the higher levels. So I, I, I want to call out certain names of people, but these people I know, but then the problem is that I might have other people who have people on their team who have also advanced, but because I'm not aware of them, I don't even know they're even on the team, I wouldn't mention their name and then when they watch the recording, it would end up being, um, they'll feel bad because I didn't mention their name. So I'm just saying right now, I apologize. If you have hit a, a new level, you have people on your team who hit a new level, let me know. Make sure you let me know because that's the only way I can recognize them on those webinars as well. All right. So here goes. This is uh, this was sent in by uh, Trivita, just so you know. And I'm just going to, I'm going to point out the people I am aware of, okay? And just so you know. So starting right out here at the very top, a three-star director. We have Darlene Jock. Jock, how are you, Darlene? Again, uh, Darlene, I, I met just a few months ago, and I actually flew out to Alberta to help her kickstart her business. And, uh, you know, she's hit the three-star position in Trivita. And that's a very prestigious level because there's only one more level above three-star, and that is presidential. And for those of you who uh, maybe are not aware, Darlene was a director, or I think just hit one star director um, at the convention, which is only about a month, five weeks ago. Okay. We also have Alice Lee. Again, those of you who are at the event, Alice Lee um, is uh, she's an Oriental lady, and it was her and another lady that um, Michael Ellison brought up at the end because they forgot to mention her name and they brought her to the stage. Okay. So again, that's Alice Lee. They're both three star directors. Uh, Two-star directors, we have my sponsor, sponsor, that's Kareem Pramji. Congratulations, Kareem, for hitting the two-star director. And then here we have uh, Kathy uh, Numor Numora. Numora, I should know that. Kathy Numora, congratulations for um, 
uh, to hit the one star director. Okay, now Kathy actually just got started in the business about uh, maybe a month ago. Uh, she actually signed up, I think, a few months ago, but wasn't interested in anything until we came back from the Galaxy of Stars, and all of a sudden she got, got started and started working, and I think she's already got uh, three directors or so um, already in the business. Okay, so. Uh, you know, again, everyone comes in and they do what they got to do and they start at different levels. But that's the uh, three star, two star and one star. Now, this is where my challenge is going to be is the directors. Again, if you have someone in your team and you see them here on this list and I don't mention their name, please type in their name in the box to make sure I do uh, mention their name. Please, please, please. OK, so um, here it goes. So right off the bat, directors is a brand new director it's just for the month of August, which is last month. We have David Aikens. Congratulations, David Aikens. And I'm just scanning here real quick. We have Leon Killam. Congratulations. Uh, we have Brad Por Poirier. We have Phyllis Bell. Congratulations. We've got who else here? Uh, yeah, a lot of these Oriental people are part of Alice's group here, and I don't know who they all are. Um, do, 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 do. See, look at this. You see this Myrna, Myrna Thompson? I know who this is, and last month, her husband was a director. So this month, is, this is the wife, and this, but guess what? I know them personally, but someone else got them into the business. That's the husband and the wife both hit the director level, but I did not bring them into the business. But I'm still gonna say congratulations because I know they get my emails. So congratulations, uh, Mary and Myrna, for hitting the level of directors. Um, let me see, who else do we have here? Uh, Molly, Molly, congratulations, hidden director. We have uh, Milan Schulich. Milan I've known since 1998, I believe. Uh, Milan, very good friend from Ottawa, and uh, he's now moved out to Alberta. And again, I, I met with him when I went out to go meet with Darlene, and I kind of woke him up, and he got to work. Again, congratulations, Milan, for hitting director. Again, we have Kathy here. Remember, I told you Kathy didn't start working until last month, so she hit director level and then hit the one-star director, both in the same month. So congratulations again, Kathy. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. I just feel, I'm just hoping I'm not missing anybody. Uh, uh, Rene, Rene Ger Geary. Congratulations, Rene, for hitting the level of a director. You thought I'd forget about you. I didn't forget about you. Congratulations. Uh, who else? Oh, yes. And we have Iveta here. Iveta, Iveta. Congratulations also for hitting the level of a director. Again, to get to the level of a director, let me make sure that's the last page. Yeah. To get the level of director, you need to have 25,000 points and you need to have a 50% rule. Now, 50% rule means you have 25,000 points in your team. You can only count 12,500 from one team. Okay, so um, that's what you need to do. Another way to do it is by doing the uh, Dash Now program or the Dash 90. And that simply means buying a 159 customers or 53 bundles that will make you a director as well okay so congratulations to all these directors now um, I'm not really going to go through everyone's name here these are the uh, four stars three stars and two stars and I'm just scanning through here so if you do see your name here congratulations if I see a name I mentioned I, I know personally I might mention it but again there's just too many people here and I don't want to start mentioning one and forgetting other people. So those were the uh, four stars, three stars and two stars. And then we have the one stars. Again, I'm just going to slowly scroll down here because I'm recording this. So congratulations again to all you one star, two star, three star and four star. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just trying to see here. Again, if you see someone's name on here that uh, you know you brought on board, if you want me to mention their name on here, I will just type in their name. And if not, I'm just going to keep on scrolling down. All right, and cool. So you lots of one stars, lots of one stars.
See, sometimes I don't even want to look at this because when I see this, if I see a name of someone I know, I didn't bring them into the business, oh, I tell you. Oh, look at this, Ernie. Ernie LaFontaine. For those of you who are Galaxy Stories, you remember you met Ernie there. You remember his wife actually went up as a director. So now Ernie is uh, finally signed up as well. And uh, yeah, he's getting started. That's pretty cool. See, I wasn't aware about that till I saw this. And well, lots of one stars here. Okay, someone's saying Grace, Grace a kit a kitikat. Oh man, I can't say that name properly. This is this is alphabetical order, so it should be under E. Under E I B C D E F G under E right here. Grace Ekat Ekakiti. Yeah, Grace Akakiti, congratulations. All right. And uh, let's see, let's keep on going down here. Okay, anyone else? If you see someone here, you want me to mention a name, please feel free to do that. And, hmm. See, when I, I look at stuff like this, you see this? See this last name here? This here is, to me, it looks a lot like a Sri Lankan type name. So you can see in that here again. And I thought I saw it some other, somewhere else. Something like this as well here. And so when I see stuff like that, see right here again, see that? Uh, when I see stuff like that, that means someone now is starting to target a particular group of people and they're bringing a bunch of people on board. Okay, so um, again, just give you ideas. Um, so that is it. Congratulations for all the one stars, two stars, three star affiliates, and then all the uh, directors, one star, two star, and three star directors. So if you're not on this list yet, do what you got to do to get on the list, and I'll be sure to recognize you when uh, the list is printed out. So congrats again to all of you guys. And uh, now, it's, for those of you who've hit director, now it's your job to help your people get to the level of director. That's how you bump up to one star, two star, three star, and above. Okay, that was the first part. Second part, so big hand. <laughs> Yay! Okay, uh, second part is a few webinars ago, I was talking about, um, you know, a lot of times we, we talk about what you need to do in the business, how to build a business, all those different things. But I said a lot of times the reason why people are stuck in building their business, a lot of it has to do with what they're thinking, how they're thinking. And uh, I said that the small secret on changing that, your thoughts, is on what you read. So I had mentioned that I would then create a special page where you can uh, get some books. All the books are going to be free. You can download them either to your iPad or your iPhone or to your computer. You can print them out and actually read them. So what I did is um, right here under websites and tools to use, I have a link that says leaders are readers. And if you click here, you get free success eBooks. These are books that you can actually go and buy. Uh, but again, I bought the digital version of that. I have them on here and you can get them. And the goal is just start with one book to start. You know, you can start anywhere, but really just start with one book. And the goal is to read at least uh, 15 pages a day. Now to start, depending on your speed of reading, maybe you'll start reading 15 to, 20, uh, 15 to 30 minutes a day to start. And then as you get better in reading, you can start accelerating it and you wanna go to, go to at least 15 pages a day. Okay, so you know, Think and Grow Rich. This here is a very powerful book that from Napoleon Hill, and it's a lot of successful individuals have read this book. Okay, Think and Grow Rich. Okay, and it's very, it's I mean, it's just phenomenal because it's not no when you read a title, you're like, oh, okay, I wonder what this title says. When you actually read the book, when you actually see what they ask you to do, it's really, really different. Um, you know, here you have um, a book by Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, um, why we recommend network marketing. Actually, this is more of an article. Um, so again, you can print that out because some people wonder, you know, what, who's really, who's influential? Like, is the network marketing one of those scams, one of those things? Well, no, it's not. It's actually a legitimate business, like a franchise, okay? Um, you know, Acres of Diamonds, very, very powerful book. Again, because, Actually, it's a very small book. 
because this one here talks about how you know uh, a guy had a farm and went across the world to go find diamonds only to find out that when he sold his farm someone was digging he had this diamond on top of the man fireplace mantle it was uh, black it was covered in black stuff and when they finally cleaned it up they found it was actually a diamond and the largest diamond field this was in south africa was found in his backyard so again we always we always go everywhere else looking for what we're looking for not knowing that what we really want is right here in our backyard okay so again like trivita could be an example i was i was in trivita but i was out there building other businesses not knowing that the real business i should have been building is trivita so again that's just one example so lots of things you know how to recruit your way to millions uh, recruiting with invite scripts uh, recruit with ease uh, mark two your hair on fire this guy here richard brooks um richard brook he owns a network marketing company but he talks about when he started he used to work at a chicken farm okay and again you'll, you'll see his story i mean very powerful stuff uh brian tracy uh john milton fogg again this this book very powerful book here on uh, building relationships and this is part two of it conversing with the greatest networker uh garage slow uh, again a lot of different books here but like i said the, the key thing is to start with the first book and just start there that's the very first thing you should do okay so again all of this is free simply click on the link you can click on the link and it will load up onto your computer or you can right click and then save to your computer so normally what i do is i, I click on it and when i click on it then um i click save here and i save it to my computer Okay, so like I said, these are the actual books that you can go out to the store, go buy if you wanted to, or you can just download it here and then print it out if you want to read by paper, or you can put it onto your iPad or something else like that. All right. So again, this is just to give you a quick example. Okay. So, uh, and just so you know, you see this book here, Think and Grow Rich. Look at this. 1938. Okay, so this is not a brand new book. This book's been around for a long time, which means the principles that they talk about back then still, still are valid today and it will always be valid for the future. Okay, because the principles are the principles. And uh, basically, in the, uh, this guy here, uh, Andrew Carnegie, Carnegie hired Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, said, listen, you want to come with me? and uh, meet all my other wealthy people and you know just see what it is that we actually do how do we think what do we do and um, basically that's what this whole book started with so let me just see if i can pull up some quick chapters real quick and then i want to get into what i was talking about now remember if you have where are we here if you have a question on anything please type it in i'm trying to see if this there must be a chapter here uh, but yeah, it talks about what he had to do. So these are the people that he studied. Henry Ford, uh, Wrigley, this is a Wrigley maker, um, the gum people, um, you know, uh, George Eastman, that's the people who uh, own Kodak, uh, you know, president, a uh, bunch of other people. So again, that is. So that would be, that's why I put the book as the first list because it's a book that makes a big difference in a lot of people's lives, okay? And look at this first chapter. This is actually what we're talking about. The man who thought his way into partnership with Thomas Edison. Cool. Okay. We're going to skip that for them. All right. Now, what I wanted to share with you was uh, based on an audio that I was listening to um, early on this week. First of all, how many of you on here have heard of a guy named Jim Rohn? Again, Jim Rohn. Who here has heard of Jim Rohn? Let me see if I can pull this up here. iTunes. One person. Anyone else? Jim Rohn. Uh, mm -hmm. Jim Rohn. Anybody else there? Oh, wow. A bunch of people. Yes. Love his stuff and... Harry has, yes, yes. All right, cool. Okay, so this is, you guys have heard of iTunes, right? 
this is basically where I store all my all my music and stuff, and um, and then I copy it onto my phone, and also onto my. I have another. I have an iPad, and I also have the uh, um, iPod. But iPod I have is plugged into a car. So that I, iPod is just for the car. And then I've also copied some of this onto my wife's my wife's uh, uh, phone as well. So basically, what happens every time I get a CD or anything, I always put it onto my computer. And I have the MP3 so I can use it anywhere. Okay, so this is all Jim Rohn stuff. You can see here, artist Jim Rohn, and you can see all the different uh, uh, CDs, different things he has. So again, we scroll down here. These are all different um, things he has. He has building a network marketing business, uh, challenge to succeed, all this other stuff. Well, for those of you who have listened to Jim Rohn, who knows Jim Rohn, like uh, when you hear him speak. He has a very unique way of speaking, and it's almost mesmerizing. Just the way his, his, his he he speaks, and, and you know, just his tonality, his voice, and it's just it's just really really cool. Okay, now I don't have um, I don't I still don't have speakers set up on my computer. I was going to play a sample of one thing from him, but uh, for those of you who uh, listen to Jim Rohn, I've heard of him. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do one more thing. Let me just pull this up here. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, let's just do a quick search here. Okay, you can actually, don't do it right now, but you can always do it after. So Jim Rohn, so this is him here. And let's, let's see if we can get video. No, this is, uh, there we go. Okay, so in this one here, he's basically being interviewed. But this is Jim Rohn here. And let's make a... Uh, whoop, there we go. Okay, so this is Jim Rohn. I'm just trying to get a picture of him. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. So this here is Jim Rohn. Come on, Jim. Show up on my screen. Hopefully you show up. There we go. Okay, so this is Jim Rohn. Unfortunately, the guy died last year, I believe now, almost a year ago, okay? Um, he was almost uh, 80 years old, 70 something years old, but he would speak all over the world. Now, for those of you who, oops, for those of you who know Jim Rohn, you'll see his story, he always talks about, he met a man named James Earl Shelf. And it was this guy who changed his life because Jim Rohn, at the age of 25, he was broke. He had two kids, a wife, and no money. And the best part of the story was that, you know, a girl, girl, girl's guide came to his door asking for money to buy some cookies. And he would lie to them and say, you know what, I bought a bunch of cookies last week. So he doesn't need any more. He doesn't, you know, doesn't need any more now. So uh, he got invited to a, a meeting. It was actually a network marketing event, and he met a guy named James Earl Shelf. And I can't spell. I don't know how to spell his last name. And this guy changed his life. Okay, so this James Earl Shelf guy um, taught Jim, you know, um, how to think. And uh, Jim, up to that time, he was working a job. And until he saw a different way of building a business, this is quite some time back. This is way back in like the, the 70s, okay? 70s, you know, 68, 67, between 65 to 70. During that time, from age 25 to age 30, Jim became a millionaire. Starting with nothing, he became a millionaire within five years. Again, following what James Elfshelf had spoken about. So a lot of the talk you hear from uh, Jim Rohn, he always mentions um, uh, you know, James Earl, Sh oh, crap, I forgot his name now, but the, the guy, um, James Earl Shelf, James Earl, I can't even say his name anymore. Um, John, there we go, John, I'm saying James. Um, John Earl Shelf. So what I did, I actually went online to see if I could find his mentor because I want to know who's the guy who taught Jim Rohn, okay? And so I found this CD, uh, John Errol Shelf, and I bought the CD. And I don't know if I can, so let me zoom this in. Look at that. And I hope you guys can still see the screen because on my end here, it just shows a big blank screen. 
So it says, it's, it's a JL Shelf. Oh, that's why I don't get the J. Okay, J. JL Shelf. This is a gentleman that changed Jim Rohn's life. So I bought the CD and this recording, I don't know when it was done, but it was done a long time ago. It's like old, old recording. I think in, in, when I was listening to it, he mentions 1962 because he's talking about buying a Cadillac in 1962. And if you could make $2,000 a month, then you could afford 10 Cadillacs. So at $2,000 a month, if you can afford 10 Cadillacs, that's a long time ago, okay? But it's just so neat about what he was saying. So I just wanted to share that with you today is, and again, the reason for why, why, why I wanna share this with you is because a lot of times uh, people are trying to attract people to come into their business. They want people to join them and they don't understand that their posture, how they are, repels people it doesn't want people people don't actually want to join you and you don't know why and you know i'm just going to say john john errol here he he talks about what you need to do to make that happen and the reality is that you have to be excited about life you have to be excited about what you're about to do in life and if you're not excited you know what people don't want to be about they don't hang out with people that are not excited about life i mean that's just the bottom line so when you meet someone and, and you ask them hey how's your day and they go Oh my gosh, let me tell you, do you know the world's going to end next year and uh, there was a, a, an earthquake that just happened and I, I don't know, I got stuck in traffic and blah, 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 blah. You know what? People go, oh yes, I, I, I know what you mean and, and, and they start going down that path. Or if uh, someone says, hey, how are you doing? And you said, man, I'm doing awesome. Well, I'm doing great. I'm doing phenomenal. People go, oh, excuse me? What the heck is that? Whatever you took, I want some of that. And when you start acting in, 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 a, in a totally different way than most people, I'm telling you, people respond to you totally different. You know, um, uh, I, 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 to me, I'm so used to this. It just, it's, just, it's just it's part of me now. But I know way back when, it, this was, I wasn't always this way. Um, I read a book way back when uh, called How to Be a Rhinoceros. And on there, it says at the beginning, when someone asks you, how are you doing? Just say, great. Don't just go, great, go great. You know, like the, uh, the tiger from, uh, Tony the Tiger from, uh, what's, the, what's the cereal? It's, um, you know, the cereal with, all full of sugar. Anyways, uh, so how are you doing? Great. And at the beginning, I used to say, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. And then I say, yeah, I'm great. And then I later on, I say, yeah, I'm great. I'm, I, again, that was just the word I used. And when I used to say great, you would see people like cashiers when they ask you how you're doing they don't even look at you when you say great they stop and they look up and they go really why like they're just so shocked because they say well how are you to all these other customers all these other people and no one says they're doing great ever and frosted flakes there we go thank you you know everyone else goes oh i'm okay uh, I'm right. somebody would even respond okay so when you start saying great, they're like, hey, what's going on here? What, what makes the person so great? And for me, it's so easy to meet people because of how I just respond from, hey, how are you doing? Okay, because people just, they just energized just because you're energized. So how do you become energized? That's the whole big thing, okay? And um, so what, what uh, John Errol here was saying is that what you need to do is you need to have a goal, but it's, it's again, I, and what I heard from this was different from what I've always heard, and that's why I wanted to share this with you. And I want you to play along with me today, okay? So I want you to have a pen and paper in your hands just for the heck of it. I mean, you have nothing to lose. There's, there's nothing to sell you here, there's nothing for you to buy. This is something that if you decide to do today, who knows what can happen in the next week, next month, next six months, next year from now, okay? so. Grab a pen and paper or, or paper and pencil, whatever it is, just grab it, have it. Again, um, ideally, don't do this on your computer screen. Okay, so normally people say, oh, you can pull it up on your computer and you can type it on there. Get a pen and paper, okay? If you need to get one, just run and get one. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, um, don't forget, I'm recording this, so you can always come back and do this again. And for the people who are on your team who are not able to make it today for whatever reason, or, you know, this evening, what you want to do is make sure they watch this video. I hope it's recording. It is recording. Okay. 
I don't see my green mark. Okay, I see it. All right, so you know, um, make sure make sure you're you're ready. Okay, so uh, this is what he says. He says you need to be excited about something. Now the problem with most people is that they're not going for anything, and because they're not going for anything, anything that comes their way is fine by them. They might say they want something, but they they're not really clear as to what they are looking for. All right, so. You know, in his example, he was using a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. Well, so I'm going to just say to you, what is it that you actually want? And in this case here, let us pick a thing, okay? Some people want to pay off their bills. Some people want to uh, do a bunch of other things. But for now, let us pick a thing that you want. Now, um, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be a car, okay? I, I like to use cars. I really do like to use cars because there's things you can do with that. But let's pick a thing, whatever the thing is for you. Pick it, whatever that is, okay? But it has to be a thing, okay? Something that you can define. Now, so an example, I'm gonna use, in my case, I'm gonna use Mercedes, okay? That's for me, all right? Now, right off the bat, I will tell you this. When I used to mention Mercedes to people before, this is what I would hear. Dave, a Mercedes? Do you know how much the gas is gonna be? Do you know how much insurance is gonna be? Right off the bat, I'm saying I want a Mercedes. Someone else is telling me, oh my God, that's too much. It's going to be, the, the gas is going to be too much, all that kind of stuff. You know what? When you can afford to get a Mercedes, the least of your worries is going to be the gas or the insurance. Okay? Just remember that. So if you find that that's what you say to yourself, you're already shutting yourself down without even starting anything. Okay? So in this case here, I want you to think of this. If you just won the, the 649, and that's in Canada, that's like the big lottery. Let's say, um, in because I have people from the US here and Canada on this webinar, so let's just say you just won a lottery, and I'll just make a small amount. Let's say you just won $10 million, okay? You've won $10 million. What is that one thing? And I want you to type it on the screen here, just in a box. I just wanna see what you guys are, are thinking of here. What is it that you would want? I don't want to, don't, no details right now. And again, I want it to be a thing, okay? So maybe uh, if you like boating, maybe a boat. If you like cars, maybe a car. If you even want a house, you know, type, type in there a house. But I want it to be a thing that you would want. If money was no object, you just won $10 million, what would it be? Okay, I'm looking for some answers here. So type it in here. Someone says new home. Okay, who else? Type in a thing. And, and in this case, I'm gonna ask you to be selfish. I only want you to think for you, okay? Good, someone here types in a Bentley. All right, who else? Riverside Cottage, all right, who else? Type in, type in what you want. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of people on this webinar um, they, they want to have their own full spa, okay? What else? A wellness center, a Reiki wellness center, a beach home, all right? A boathouse, okay? Who else? Keep on coming, keep on coming. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people, nine people, okay? We have way more than nine people here. So the rest of you, what are you guys thinking of? I know that's one thing he mentioned about here. He says, if you ask a hundred people what they would want in life, you know what? 98 of them have no clue. And for some of you, again, I'm just, I'm just speaking out here because a lot of people are listening to this. The reality is that you don't spend the time to think about what you really want because you're so stuck in the day-to-day things. You know what? You're, you've got kids to think about, you're trying to get groceries, you're, you're rushing, you're late to work, you're rushing late going back home, you've got to do all these different things. You never really stop to think about what you want and you kind of get stuck in life because you're always thinking about what you need to do. And then when you come home, guess what? You go put on the TV because you're trying to escape whatever it is that you're, you're, uh, you, you experience during the day and when you first thing you do is what? You're watching TV and what's on there? You're gonna watch the news because guess what? You need to know what happened after. In fact, what really sucks for a lot of people is that in the morning when they get up, they have a radio alarm that wakes them up, but the radio alarm, what do they do? 
boom, it's going to tell them about, they want to know about the traffic. So it tells you about the traffic, in between the traffic, they tell you about the people who died at night during a, a car crashes, whatever cases, and you know, the traffic, this road is going to be closed. So you got to watch out for this. It's going to be a busy day. And guess what? It's going to be miserable, cold outside. Oh my gosh. Guess what? You go off to work. You're talking about how cold it is outside. You can't believe it. All this other stuff. Summer is done. And then you leave work straight through come back home and then guess what you go back to watch the news to find out all the other horrible stuff that happened in the market during the day while you're at work so oh my gosh you know this 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 you know what's going to happen in this world and you're piled your head with a whole bunch of crap so that's why a lot of times people don't think for themselves about what they want and that's why no one's excited about life because they they're not putting anything good into their head so um Okay, comfortable car, luxury, Lexus. I think Lexus would be fun. Okay, good. So what we're going to do, we're going to play with some of the uh, things people say here, that the people wrote here saying that they want. So you have a pen and paper. I like the, the Bentley guy, Mr. Bentley there. You know, you want the Bentley. And again, this is for everybody, not just the Bentley person. But what I want you to do next on this piece of paper, okay, uh, do you want, I mean, Bentleys, do you want a 1972 Bentley. Okay, I'm, I'm picking you there, Mr. Malaki. So, do you want a 1972 Bentley? You want a 2011 Bentley. Interesting, okay. So, that's number one. Define what kind of item it is that you want, okay? So, you know, someone said Riverside Cottage. Again, we know right there. Again, I'm guessing maybe the cottage is in a place called Riverside or Riverside Cottage is the design of the cottage, whatever that is. So you want to be more specific. What year of that item is it that you are looking for? That's number one. Number two, um, what color is that Bentley? Do you want a nice red Bentley or maybe a nice bright orange Bentley? Is that what you're looking for? Okay, and this is why I wanted it to be a thing that you want. Okay, you want it to be black. Okay, great. So again, for everyone else, you, ha you put a color of whatever it is you want. Now, again, your house might be hard to have a color of it, but again, maybe for the cottage, uh, maybe it's going to be made out of log woods. I don't know if there's different types of log woods, or maybe you want it to be made just out of plain wood. I don't know. Um, let me see the beach home. Same thing. Your your uh, Reiki Wellness Center. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what you would have in there. Maybe the location. Okay. Again, I know for people like doing Reiki and, and wellness, a lot of times they like it to be out near nature, maybe where you can see the mountains and just in a really cool environment. Again, specify what that is. Okay. How about the inside of uh, the Bentley? You know, Bentleys, Bentleys, you can get the, the leather. You can actually get the leather. It could be made out of whale skin. Uh, I don't know if you guys even knew that. And even the, the carpeting can be wool, wool from Australia, wool on the inside of Bentleys. Again, that's why I was picking a Bentley. Bentley is a 250000 to $300,000 car. Um, but again, so the inside, what color do you want the inside to be? How do you want it to actually be? Okay. You want to specify that. Again, this is all on your piece of paper with your pen or pencil. Write down, be very specific about this one thing that you want. Okay. Now I'm not saying you can only have one thing. You can have a whole bunch of things, but for this exercise, I only want you to focus on one thing. Remember you've got a $10 million. You've written down this one thing you want, and now you're being specific as to what it is. How about the wheels? Mr. Malaki, do you want 19 inch rims? Do you want 20 inch, 21 inch again? Now, if you want a car, I'll tell you, this is, this is what I do. I mean, my wife can tell you, she thinks I'm nuts. I do this a lot. Um, let us see here. I go to our friend, Google, and, um, oop. Uh, Bentley car, Bentley motor vehicles, boom. All right, I, this is what I do. I, I online, guess the power of the internet, it's free. I like the word free. So look at this, you have the car, you can choose the different models we have. So again, you know, I didn't even ask him what model, but most people want this, the GT, the two-door version. So let's click the GT. Okay, this can apply for any car that you want. You can go online, whether it's a BMW, Porsche, Lexus, Toyota Camry, whatever it is you want. So from here, you can see the exterior of the car. You can look at the interior as well of the car. You can check out 
you know, look at the inside, see how all this stuff looks like. Now, most car places will allow you to build a car, okay? They, they should all allow you to do it. So here we're gonna actually build this car, okay? And again, I always used to tell people to walk into the car dealerships to sit in the car that you want, okay? A lot of people are shy, they're scared, they're timid, they don't think they deserve to go sit in a car like this. These cars are sitting down here waiting for you. Some people on this webinar have never even seen what a Bentley is, okay? Uh, this here is a beast. This is a all-wheel drive, a V12, a super powerful car. I was given this car for a day. Someone was trying to sell it to me, and they say, hey, Dave, just take it and drive. I went driving with this thing, and I returned it. I said I was too dangerous because every time I press the car, it's faster than a Ferrari. This, this, this car weighs more than a truck. It's, it's a heavy, heavy car, but it is, it is crazy. I mean, you step on it, it just takes off, okay? So anyways, here we are. Here we are. Let's just build this thing here. Uh, single tone paint, huh? Color group silver. Let's do blacks. Look at all the different tones of blacks they have here. So, Mr. Malaki, do you want um, Artak Ar and I can't see these words here. The Beluga black. Do you want diamond black? Do you want light onyx black? Do you want Antak Antak? Ant thoracic satin or ant thoracic. <laughs> okay, so again, which kind of black do you want? So let's just pick diamond black, okay? So there, look at that. Is that cool or is that cool? You can see all the different types of blacks. So we choose diamond blacks, okay? And uh, there's a whole bunch there, okay? And uh, the wheels, look at the wheels. We have 20 inch rims, we have 21 inch, you have 10 spokes. Whatever, so let's just pick. Look, we're picking this. I'm, I'm building this for you right now, okay? Diamond black, pick 21 inch rims there. And um, let's go for the interior. Look at, for the main hide. Okay, just for that, this is the inside of the car. Guys, remember, it's free for you to do this online. I'm only picking this car. It doesn't matter what the car is. Some of you guys have never even gotten the guts yet. They haven't even thought about going to do this. Okay, I, I'm the fact that I'm even doing this. I'm getting excited for this stupid car. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so here we have you know different kinds of uh, of leather. This is grays. We have creams. Did you guys know those different types of creams? Uh, how about blues? Imperial blue or Bernal blue? Uh, what else here? The the browns. There's new market tan. There's dark bourbon. There's burnt oak. Uh, again, Malika, I, I, I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, you're going to have to come to the site here and build your own car. Look at that. That's just that, that's the kind of brown I'd like. I always look at this uh, on the, the BMWs. Um, let's see. There's a second hide. Okay, where does this second hide go? I guess that will be that, this guy on the top here. So uh, that gray really looks good. But just for the heck of it, let's just see what this, this one looks like. Yeah, I think a bit darker. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Nice dark up there and there. Okay. Um, again, there's so many things. Okay. You have the seat belts. You can choose different seat belts to match the main height. Now, let's make it the seat belt looking different. Let's see. Should, let me see the back of the car. Okay. So, again, the whole point uh, of doing this is and I'm going to just fast forward because time is going fast. This is exciting. What you want to do is you want to be specific for this one thing that you want. And as you can see, as I'm building this car, okay, going down to the specificity of the seat belt, the carpet, what color carpet do you want, uh, the headliner on top. Again, this particular car, this is, an, this is an expensive car, so they'll let you modify a whole bunch of things. If you go to uh, a different type of car, like... Um, uh, I don't want to insult any car, but let's just say you go to a Toyota, for example, okay? They give you choices, but they're not as specific, okay? But still, what I want you to do is I want you to specify what you want exactly for this one item, okay? If it's a house, you know, what kind of windows do you want? How's the roof going to be? Uh, the, the kitchen, do you want an island kitchen? Do you want the, uh, the sink to face inside the house? Do you want to face outside in the back? Uh, do you want to have a, a deck in the back? Do you want to have a, a pond in there? Do you want to have a pool? What do you want? Write all this stuff down, and you can see it's going to take you a lot longer than five minutes to write this down. 
okay? And again, for a lot of you, you will go, man, I've never thought about this in this detail. And the point, always think about this, okay? You just won $10 million. What would you like to have? And for this exercise, I want you to just try just one thing, okay? You can do as many things as you want, but for this one, I want you to do one to start, and then you can do others after you finish this one, okay? Some of you will say, ah, you know what, I've heard this stuff before, I'm not gonna do it. Why won't you do it? Like, I don't get it. You don't want whatever it is you're saying, are you scared of trying it? Remember, it's not gonna cost you a dime to do it. Just for the heck of it, just try it out. See what happens, okay? So, be very specific as to what you're looking for. Write it down. It, it, online, internet is very helpful. You can find anything you're looking for. Someone here said they're looking for a house in Hawaii. Guess what? I go to Google, house in Hawaii. I type that in Google. It says properties for sale in Hawaii. Let's just click on this one here. I mean, you can even see images here. Actually, you know what? For the heck of it, you even click on images. Just uh, And these are all houses that show up for houses in Hawaii. Let's pick one that has a nice ocean. Where's ocean? Uh, yeah, I see you can do this one here. Let's see this. Let me zoom in. So there. That's a nice one, but let's go back here. No, back, back, back. Oh, that's Tiger Woods house. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to see here. Hawaii feeling, look at that. The island of Oahu. All right, let us click the picture there. Let us see what they're trying to show us here. And visit some beautiful islands of Hawaii. Uh, again, do you want your island, uh, do you want your house to be on the top of the mountain? Do you want to be close to the beach? Uh, again, I, my friend Google has everything here. Everything. Okay. Just do a search for it. Okay. You're looking for a Lexus car. Guess what? Type in Lexus car. And again, type in the year. You can see there's different types of Lexuses. But again, you have to be specific. You can type uh, Lexus SUV. If that's what you're looking for again this is just all under images under google okay so again be specific as to what you're looking for write it down on the paper okay and this is the whole point okay let me see i can't draw can i draw let me see if i can try drawing with my mouse i i might not be able to but let's try this okay i want you to think about where's my paint program hello paint it's coming i want you to think about about this let's draw this here Okay, hello. How does it show up here? Uh, new. Okay. Okay, this here is land, okay? This here is a tree. Uh, let's make it a palm tree. Okay, I'm using my mouse to draw, so please don't laugh at my drawing because I know it's not good. Now, let us say you plant a, an orange here, okay? The orange is under the ground, okay? Are you going to get lemons? If we put lemon here, let's see yellow, hope you can see. Yeah, this, this is a lemon, okay? So this is supposed to be an orange here. That's a lemon. If you plant lemons here, are you going to get an apple tree here? The answer is no, you're not. And that's what people don't understand is that a lot of times they're planting oranges and they're expecting to get apples, okay? They're planting Oh my God, what a horrible day. I can't believe it's so cold. But you know what? I'm going to be successful. You know, I really, really, really want to get that nice new BMW, but they're going around looking at Toyotas. It's not going to happen, okay? Because what you're planting in this, okay, I'm using the ground here, but this is really your subconscious mind. Whatever you plant here, whatever you're thinking about, all day long, that's what's gonna end up coming out. And to give you an example, just look at where you're at today. Look at the stuff you have today. I can promise you, those of you who have a 40 inch TV or 50 inch TV, where you live, whatever it is, if you really think about it, when you got that stuff, whatever it is you have, if you look back as to how it happened, you will see you were in an environment, you thought about it, and you say, you know what, I'm gonna go get this. And that's how you have whatever you currently have. 
So moving forward, whatever you're planting in here is going to be the result of what you're going to have that's going to end up growing. Okay, so the goal here is you're planting the seed. You're writing down your piece of paper what you want, what you want to get. You don't care. It doesn't matter how you're going to do it. I didn't ask you how you're going to do it right now. I just said, pretend you got $10 million, write down exactly what you want for this one thing. Now, remember, think of it. If you're a farmer, there's no limit. You can plant as many things as you want. But the key thing is that you have to be planting different things and you have to be specific as to what you're planting so that you can get the end result. So if you want to have oranges, plant oranges. You want to have apples, plant apples. You want to have pears, plant pears. You want to have lemons, plant lemons. But you have to plant each of them and you have to plant them separately. Okay, so you put them right on this piece of paper and this is the key part that was totally different from what, anything else I've heard. After you write down exactly what you want, this one thing, fold this piece of paper and put it away. Put it in your drawer, put it in an envelope somewhere and put it somewhere, put it away. Don't put it in your back pocket and this was what's different because Everything else I've seen is always, you know, read it in the morning, read it at night, read it next day, read it every day. But what he says is you fold it and put it away. Okay, and this is key. Yeah, some people already left the webinar and they missed that key part. So write down what you're looking for and then fold it up and put it away. And this is his reason. Again, I'm telling you from what... Um, John Earl Shelf, what he says, okay? He says, if you're a farmer and you went and you planted something here, if you came up every day to dig, say, hey, let's say this was beans now you planted here. Or let's say it's a lemon. It's a lemon you planted in here. If every day you came here to open up the land, hey, uh, are you growing yet? Oh, you're nothing? Okay, let me let me cover you back up again. And the next day you came again and you dug it open again. Hey, are you growing yet? He says, you know, when you plant something, it's planted. You put it in the ground and then you forget about it. You keep on doing what you're doing. What's going to happen is because, let's say I'm using you, Maliki here, Malaki. You say you want this Bentley. You built the whole Bentley, everything. You printed out the, the, the sheet of the Bentley you wanted. You say, okay, this is what I have. And then you fold it up and you put it away. What's going to happen now, because you've done that, just that one exercise alone, you're going to be so excited now about life. You know that Bentley is coming to you. You have no idea how it's going to come to you, but you've built it. Now it's working in your subconscious mind. When someone says, sees you and says, hey, Malaki, how are you doing? Man, I'm doing awesome. Whoa, why are you doing awesome? You know what? You don't even need to tell them why, but you're going to feel awesome just because you did this exercise. In fact, for those of you who decide, you know what, I'm going to do this exercise just for the heck of it. I want you tomorrow to email me and tell me, hey Dave, tell me how you woke up. Tell me how your day went because of the exercise that you did tonight. Okay, I just want you just to just test this out. You'll see what's going to happen. Now, what you're going to notice is that as the day goes on, as the weeks go on, all of a sudden you're going to start hearing, oh, um, do you know there's a, a Bentley uh, convention happening? Uh, you're going to see a Bentley go by. You're going you're gonna to watch TV. You're going to see some actor driving a Bentley. Again, I'm using Bentley as this example here, but for those of you looking for the house or another car or um, all those different things, uh, having a trip around the world, all those different, different things you're looking for, you're going to start hearing about it. I'm going to tell you, those of you who say you want to pay off your debts or stuff like that, that's not going to work for this exercise. It has to be something that you can be specific about. Paying off your debt is nothing you're going to be excited about. You need something else. So, for example, if you can afford to buy the Bentley, okay, your debt should be paid off. That's a default. That happens already because of something else. Okay, so plant the seed and then just live life. Don't even worry about anything else. Okay, and I want you to tell me this time next week, Okay, remember, exercise tomorrow, I want you to email me. Let me know how your day goes. So email me at the end of the day, okay? And then for next week, I want to hear from you. I want to, you know, I want to hear those of you who said, you know, there's a new, there's a new beetle coming out, for example, okay? I wanted this new beetle. 
New Beetle. Let me type that in here. New Beetle. I don't know if it's out yet or not, but I know they've announced it. Look at this. It's so cool. I think it's such a cool car. Okay. But it's this new Beetle is coming out. It looks like a small Porsche. I guess that's why I like it. Okay. This is, this is again coming out here. Okay. Um, and they're, they're trying to target men now. But anyways, I wanted this Beetle. So uh, I went, got the brochure for it and boom, it's gone. And sure enough, as soon as I put it away, guess what? I'm surfing the line, the internet, and all of a sudden I see pictures of it showing up. All right. So um, next week, same webinar. I want you guys, for those of you guys who've experienced something, um, you know, maybe you wrote down your, 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 your sheet, your, your goal sheet here, you put it away, see what happens this week. And I want you to let me know if you had any experience, if something came up based on that next week, Sunday. Okay. Um, all I can tell you is this, if you define this properly and you plant this, you'll be amazed as to how you start to feel and then how you start to act. And when you start acting differently, people say, hey, I don't know what this person is smoking or drinking, but I want some of it. But you're gonna start attracting people to you because you're gonna be positive about life. Why? Because you now know that whatever you've planted is coming to you. So with that, guys, it's 9 p.m. I hope you got something out of this. My phone is already ringing. And um, you know what, all I can tell you is that this week is gonna be an awesome week just like every other week and it's totally up to you to make a difference in your life. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to send me an email, come back next week, type in questions about whatever it is. And um, again, when I have this converted, this will be, I'll be emailing this out to the team. You can forward this on to your team members who were not able to attend. And I hope you got something from this. Um, since there's no questions, I, I think people are either online building their own house now or cars or their trips or something. But who knows? Remember, we have one friend online and that friend is called Google. All right. So with that, I want you to, um, um, well, again, I hope you learned something from here and I want to thank you for attending this webinar. Thanks uh, for being here and please make this week the best week ever. Take care and have a great day.